So here we are in the laboratory, in one of the laboratories of the Zurich University of Applied Sciences in Wehrkutzwil, near Zurich, where we prepare our samples for the research about the um, content of the pupas in case of uh, proteins, water and, and lipids. And for that we have to open the cocoons, and here on the table you see the cocoons of Bombix mori on this side, this is the mulberry silk moss, and on the other side you see the cocoons of Samia ricini, the airy silk moss. They seem uh, quite different in the outer shape, but uh, pupas normally they are practically the same inside from size and weight. So for opening the mulberry cocoon it's much easier because they have much more space inside this uh, cocoon and uh, you only have to cut with the scissor from one side to the other and then you can open the cocoon and you see the pupa inside here. If we put it on a weight scale we see this is pretty heavy two point four seven grams. That's even pretty heavy for a mulberry silk moss pupa. But you see here they have plenty of space inside of the of their cocoon. So let's see for one of Salmio Rizzini. Here I have to because they have not so much space inside the cocoon, I have to pay attention that I don't cut into the pupa. So let's try it like this. So what we see here is an unfinished pupa. It's still in the stage of a of a larva, but didn't they get it uh, to the to the pupa stage yet? And I think this won't do it anyway because sometimes they they have uh, problems coming out of the larval skin so I wouldn't take this uh, to make a sample so let's try another one like this one here and see whether we find a nice pupa of some origin in here yes that's the case here so you see but this is of course a smaller one probably around 1.2 grams, 1.2 yeah, and what you see also is the skin of the larva, of the caterpillar, last stage L5 this is so thin 17.5 milligrams and that's the the pupa and here you see they don't have that mu much space inside of the cocoon. So how do we kill the pupas? Um, we put them in a refrigerator and then the temperature goes down and the metabolism of the animal goes into sleep and uh, we think that's the, um, the best method to kill insects. But don't do it if you don't have to. Thanks for watching.